Hi, this is Chris, coming to you today, as you can see, from the saltwater edge. Uh, we're going to be talking about North Bar plastic bottle garters. Now, this is a great lure, and there's a lot of reasons why, uh, we'll talk about today. For many people, it's become one of those game changer lures. You know, there's a lot of different lures that come out every year, and sometimes you gotta wade through what's a gimmick, wade through what's just uh, something old, that may be done a little bit differently, and something that's truly different, like this lure here. One of the things you'll notice right away as you start to throw this lure is that you're going to get a lot of positive feedback. Now the best positive feedback that you can have is catching fish. Of course, that's gonna build a lot of confidence. And we're confident that if you throw this lure in the right circumstances, the right situations, you're going to catch fish on it and get confident. But even before that happens, it's one of those lures when you throw it out, especially if you're fishing braided line, if you can feel what's going on, you're going to feel it working. You're going to feel the lure pumping that's going to give you that positive feedback to know that the fish in the area also are aware of the presence of the plug. You're going to be engaged, you're going to be fishing, waiting for that strike, and uh, that's the way you want to be. You never want to be just kind of casting out, really, and not in contact with the lure. You're not going to be very confident, you're not going to catch a lot of fish that way. Uh, so this lure, I mean, even to the point where, say, you pick up a little bit of weed, you're going to feel the action change, you'll know you'll be able to lure the real, uh, you'll be able to reel the lure right in, and take that weed off and get fishing again. So it's good from that standpoint. It inspires a lot of confidence. A little bit about the design of the lure. I mean, it's called a bottle darter. So the, the idea is to take the best parts, kind of, of uh, the darters and the bottle plugs. And if you think about some of their attributes, you can kind of come to the conclusion about where this lure performs well. You think in heavy current, you know, you might want to throw a darter or in stormy seas you might need something that's going to hold like a bottle plug. In a situation where you need casting distance, the bottle plug, again, really shines. And so those are some of the attributes that this lure was uh, looking to maintain. You know, it sounds like a gimmick to kind of take and, and morph two great lures together. Uh, and, and usually you'd think that might be a process that wouldn't go too well. But the history of this plug kind of helps us to see why they were able to execute on the design. You know, first this started out as a wooden plug. You can still get them today under the name Sporting Wood. Uh, the bottle darter, kind of first made, you know, uh, or popularized by, by Larry Welcome. And he was making them in his basement, and then some people got a hold of them, the demand was there. I know we would get shipments of these plugs, they'd come in the door and fly out. We couldn't keep them in stock. And to this day, you know, he still comes out with batches of the wooden plugs, and it's the same deal. Enter Larry's partner, Rob, and now he has the engineering background. They were able to really dial in the design of this plug. And uh, you know, they go into more detail in another video you can find on the web. And that's a great video to watch if you're, if you're interested in that part of it. Basically, they tested. Uh, there's a lot of uh, testing that was involved until they found the design that would give them the action that they were looking for. And the result is that now we have readily available, as you can see over my left shoulder here, these uh, bottle darters and plastic that we can, we can always get. And it's nice to have plugs like that that are readily available and that work. You know, we think about the Super Strike Zigzag. We think about the uh, bottle plug, the, the Little Neck Deep Swimmer. If you were to go on the Edge Angling website and look at the lure section, of the top 10, you're going to find that it is just literally riddled with those plugs. You know, of course, the bone red fin's there. Uh, but beyond that, there are Super Strike Zigzags. And there's a bottle plug in there. And then you find these North Bar bottle darters. Uh, that should tell you something. The rankings on the website have to do with how many uh, we sell. You know, that's one of the factors. And that has to do with how well a lure performs when you think about it. So if you see something that appears towards the top of the search results on the website or in the categories on the website, you can rest assured that that's something that you might want to think about giving a try. Now, a little bit about the attributes of this lure. Two and a half ounces coming out of the package. It's going to cast great. It's rigged and ready for catching big fish. I mean, this is a big fish lure. You can see it's not only pretty big here, but if you inspected the hardware, we've got 4X VMC uh, hooks. We've got Wolverine split rings. And even the barrel swivels in there are croc swivels. So it's all very, very strong. Just like you would with any other plug, you're going to have to determine how uh, heavy you want to set the drag, how much you want to put the screws to a big fish. We've got a picture we're going to splice into this video, and like they say, a picture tells a thousand words. Uh, you're going to see, you know, just the type of damage that a big fish can do uh, to hooks. Uh, Earl was fishing, hooked a gigantic bass, and uh, that, that took him and, and ended up breaking off. 
A few days later, some friends found the lure. And uh, actually, we have a picture of that lure that we're going to splice into the video. So like with any other lure, you're going to have to think about the situation you're fishing in and weigh the pros and cons of how heavy you're going to set the drag. You know, you don't want to risk setting it too light and losing the fish and the rocks all the time. So, so it is that balance that you're going to have to strike. There are some great videos on the North Bar website, uh, and in particular, two things. One, the action of the lure. Very, very versatile. So it can be used in different situations and can be fished differently. In heavy current, you could cast it out there, hold it, let it dig down in the current, and just kind of do what it does and, and work its way, swing over back to you, and then reel in. If there's little current, say it's a calm night, the lure itself has a lot of action. So you don't need to depend on current uh, to get the action. I've had good nights you know, on this lure where uh, area is not too much current, and it's just been the action of the lure itself that has, has really been, been shining and, and getting the job done. With that said, you know you might want to impart a little jerk to it, get it to dig down and get in quick, and then crawl. Even stopping this lure can be a good tactic. And especially from this standpoint, say you're in an area and it's not as deep as you thought it was, you feel this lure start to tick bottom. A lot of times with other heavy lures that are fishing the lower part of the water column, you need to start working it fast to try to get it up and, and to try to save yourself from losing that lure. This is totally different. What you want to do is just stop. It seems counterintuitive, but because of the buoyancy of the lure, if you stop, you feel it ticking bottom, you stop. It's going to start to rise back up to the surface, and you give it a little time to get back up there, and then you can just crawl it in and uh, adjust accordingly. Now, be ready, because if you watch this lure in the water when it's doing that rise, you're going to see that's a time when you might get some strikes from fish, or after it does rise to the top and you start to crawl it again, it starts moving again, be prepared. Uh, there's lots of ways and lots of circumstances under which you can fish this lure. Because it's plastic, you can even load it. The website, again, North Bar uh, Tackle, you go on their website, they've got a great video. Rob does a great video about how to load this lure in particular. 10 cc's of water, he likes 11 cc's of mineral oil. It's going to take it from two and a half to three ounces. The castability is going to be improved. I think of a night, uh, those two came up here. We are actually all out fishing in a certain spot. And some of, the, some of them, they had the loaded bottle darters. You know, some of that's just casting skill. They're both really good fishermen. But you think of it, if you're in a lineup with a bunch of guys, or say you're trying to reach a, a piece of offshore structure that you know is there, sometimes that little bit of distance is going to make a difference, especially in your confidence. And uh, we know, like we talked about in the beginning, staying confident, confident staying engaged, that's what it's all about. Uh, so it might be something you want to explore. They talk about in the video, the action will change a little bit when you load it. So not only will you get the increased casting distance, uh, but you know, like we've talked about, this plug will, will dart and wiggle. So what happens when you load it is it more darts a little more than it would without the, the extra weight in there. Uh, so again, uh, something to take into account, you might want to experiment with. Uh, both fish well, both catch fish. So uh, it might be something more particular to your circumstances, or you might want to have both, uh, even in the bag on certain nights, in case, say, uh, uh, the wind started up in your face or you knew the wind was going to be in your face, that extra casting distance can really help. We talked a little bit about how to work this plug, uh, really some of the conditions under which it, it can't be uh, really stated enough that there are times you can throw this plug when other plugs won't, won't really work, or there's only certain plugs that will work. What really comes to mind is very stormy conditions where it's tough to stay in contact with the plug. You know, if you're just throwing out there into uh, just crazy uh, waves and white water, and you're not able to stay in contact with the lure, it's going to be very difficult to catch fish. Uh, you know, the, the Little Neck Deep Swimmer has had a good reputation for holding in big water, and this plug is, you know, of that, that, that same idea. If it's really big out there and you need something you can throw, you can get out there a good distance, but also you're going to be in contact with, this is a, a, a great lure uh, really to give a try. So, so that's just a, a couple things about the North Bar Bottle Darter. I know these videos, they get a little long-winded, but we want to get a little information in there. Uh, just in case, you know, it might be something that comes to mind. It could make the difference for you that night. If you haven't given them a try yet, give them a try. We know that you're going to like them, and we know, you know, with a little bit of, of use, you're going to catch fish on it. It's probably going to become one of your favorite lures, one of those game changers, one of those go-tos that you're always going to want to have with you in your plug bag. So that's it, the North Bar Plastic Bottle Darter.